Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. You can see that I'm smiling ear to ear because today we're drinking another Ardbeg Committee release. This is an eight-year-old called For Discussion. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Matt, tell me more. Tell me more. I don't even remember hearing about this one. Yeah, I don't either. So, of course, our, obviously our amazing people of Indian Terra sent us another donation of cool Ardbeg as always. So we get this amazing little put an eight in the top for us. They're nice. So this eight-year Ardbeg called For Discussion Committee release came out in 2021. It is a 50.8%. Uh, it says supposed to be a smokier version with all an ex-sherry cast rather than an ex-bourbon, which is the 10 year old from Dr. Bill Lundsman, of course, who makes our big, is their distiller. He says, while trying our he says at various stages to see if this should be added to the core range and says for discussion for committee members to see if this should be added. So since that was three years ago, I don't know if the discussion went, but I guess it didn't get added. Who knows? So I guess let's see what we find out. I don't know, but they'll go from there. Well, maybe this is the reason why we had Wee Beastie Maybe. I don't know what year that came out. I don't remember, I don't remember what year Wee Beastie came out. Because that was shortly after 2019, I think. And then we Something had... Like that. And that was a five-year. And so this is... That's a five-year. So, I mean, like, that could be, you know... Maybe. could have been like, yeah, make it younger. Who knows? Ooh, this smells good. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Pete. This surprised. smells quite a bit denser than 46%. Yeah, this is 50.8, yeah. Okay. Almost 51%. Yeah, almost 51, yeah. Okay. So Pete, Creosote. Yeah, the ethanol vapors hit a little bit harder on this one. Definitely. Smoked fish. Big. Yeah, and the smoke levels are way higher than the last Ardbeg we drank. Oh, uh, sure. yeah. Sherry funk, toffee, uh -huh. charcoal. This has that quintessential pig roasting on a beach. Yep. The charred Ooh. pig skin. It's got a bacon fat. I got this like celery, celery and coriander, and like little fire starter kindling with lemon and chocolate. Ooh, that's wild! I'm getting like like a celery salt, Matt. What I would use? Yeah, to yeah, exactly. <sighs> Again, a little bit vegetal. This time, I'm getting a little bit of spinach. It's yeah, I'd say spinach is definitely closer on this one. Yeah, like cooked wet spinach. Almost even collard greens. Yeah. It, it's not quite into like Brussels sprouts, but it's definitely no. down the path, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm getting honeysuckle and and moreover, like just the stems, the, the actual plant itself more than just yeah. like a flower. I agree with that. God, so smoky though. Good Ooh, lord. Even a little bit of uh, cucumber now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> like a cucumber water. Yeah. And even a little bit of cantaloupe, like the rind of a cantaloupe. Interesting. I'm picking up a minty, uh, very, very um, top of my nasal cavity. Okay. Mint leaf. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's, I agree with the mint leaf. Yeah. It's like a mint leaf wrapped in bacon. <laughs> that sounds really good, actually. <laughs> with some dark chocolate in there as well. Definitely chocolate. Yeah. This is this smells delicious. Yeah, all right. I think we need to drink it now. Mm. God. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Lots of peat nash. Oh, burning bonfire. Fig raisins. Toffee. Super malty. Bready. Burnt toast. If I could be part of the committee release discussion, yes, please, more. <laughs> the answer is yes, it's really good. You should make a part of releases. Yes, please. Yeah, I I would buy an eight-year-old 50% hard bag all day long. Yeah. Yeah, this one, I think, came out at a pretty, fairly reasonable price. I noticed the, uh, the Blaza was like 80, and this one, I think, was around the similar price range. So I, this would be, to me, worth it. For that i i eh. eight year age statement i might be a little well 50 well, think about though. this though think how many most look like uh bizarre barbecue that was the same price and that has no age statement yeah and we both love that oh we love that one i mean this this is definitely one of the better community releases i think we've i think we both agree i think we both like younger hardback 
It needs to be. Now, granted, we've had the 22, and that's also fabulous. It's good, but it's, it's lost just... a lot of the smoke. It's lost a lot of the... Yeah, and it has. It's, roasting. Okay. it's lost a lot of the Ardbeg thumbprint in right. 22 years. Yeah. yeah. This, yeah this just screams Ardbeg. It does. And that's saying that grilled pineapple, lots of pork in there, mm -hmm. salted caramel, chocolate, black pepper. Oh, it's so good. Sea salt. Uh, oh, burnt. Oh, it's like this clove peppermint licorice now with bacon. Yeah. Like bacon bits, even, I would say. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, awesome. sauteed lettuce with a bacon crumble. Oh, that's sitting on top of um, a grilled pork chop. Yeah, with blue cheese on top. It, yeah, so the blue cheese funk, Matt. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. This would pair so well with so much food. Oh, this um, is a steak, great, or even like a, a blue cheese burger with Swiss, that mixed with some Swiss cheese too. Oh. Swiss. Yes. Oh, this is this is great. <laughs> Well, oh, shit like this, on. Ardbeg. Don't put the other weird crap out. Make stuff like this. This is what I this is what I love about this kind of things from Ardbeg. Not some of this other weird crap we've had. This is the good stuff. Make this. Yeah. This is good. Okay. So we, we just had this other low peated one. I don't know the PPM level of this one. This Blazda that they also gave us. And I wanted to compare since this is eight year olds. We don't know if this is young or old Blazda. We just wanted to compare them. Well, good God on the nose, Matt. You can definitely tell that this is very, very lightly peated. Wow. Down. That's funny to go from really heavily to super light. So we had gone from non-peated to lightly yeah. peated, and we thought, oh, wow, that's peated. That's no. In comparison to this thing. I mean, it's 8 ppm to the world. We know this is probably regular RBX 55. I'm guessing this is also probably 55, most likely. At minimum, I would say. Maybe higher. Yeah, so this, this is so sweet and light and beautiful now. The the blast it is. Like it feels there. like there's just maybe even a, a, little, a little wisp. That's too funny. Yeah, all the fruit, Matt. It's I totally yeah. Fruit. It's a fruit bouquet now. That's so good. It's really, I'm really good. glad. I'm really glad we tasted those in the order that we tasted them in because. Um, I don't know that I would have found Pete at all. If no, we, we would not have found it. That's what we had to do in that order. Wow. But yeah, then you get this like beautiful chocolate raspberry now that I'm picking up on the uh, on the eight year. Wow. They're both great whiskeys. I mean, I, I got I got no complaints with either one. I think they're both fabulous. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. these are even like a bacon wrap shrimp. Oh yeah, that sounds so briny, much. salty. A little bit of buttery. Mm -hmm. Oh, come that on. sounds good to me. Yeah, I do love me some fried up shrimp. That'd be delicious. Andy, Tara, you're the best. Thank you so much, as usual. You guys are awesome. All right. I think yeah. we've got Ardbog we'll be doing soon that we also have here and some teachers from the 70s. Ooh. So we'll, be doing, we'll probably do that in a couple of weeks. We'll shoot those. All right. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We go live every Monday night deep diving into a whiskey topic. <laughs> Join the Patreon page. Get access to some behind the scenes fun. And until next time, keep on crusading for the whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Not one of those was clean. Say good enough. <laughs> <laughs>